In this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a custom viewport with a specific view and also how to add text that will automatically update should you need to change your scale sizes of your viewport. Right now in front of us, we have our paper space and we have one single viewport with the full view of our floor plan object that is in our model space. In this particular viewport, I want to insert a kitchen view only. If I go to my model tab, I can come over and go to where it says my control views or those view controls. And selecting where it says top, this is where we have our different top, bottom, left, right, front, and back views of our object that we have created in our model space. And you have the option of creating custom views. To create a custom view, you can go to where it says your view manager. In selecting that view manager, you're going to go to where it says new. And then just type in the view you want to name. I'm going to say kitchen because I want to show a custom kitchen view. And then I'm going to define my window to make sure that I have everything that I want in the space and things that I don't want in the space are not included. So in selecting that kitchen view by put, placing a window around it, I'm going to press enter and I'm going to select OK. I do already have a kitchen view created, but I'm just changing it. I want to make sure I select apply and select OK. Now I can go over to my layout tab. Make sure I'm inside of my viewport by double clicking or selecting the toggle at the bottom and switching over to model. Again, I want to go to the top left corner where I have the word top to go to my view controls. I'm going to left click to open and then go to where it says custom views and select the one that I just created, which is my kitchen. And now it zooms into my kitchen view. At this time, I have the option of scaling my drawing. I'm going to scale this to a half inch and position it as I need or would like it to show in my viewport. Go ahead and lock my scale so that I won't have any accidents in unscaling this drawing. You can click out to come back out to your paper space or select model to click it to your paper. And now we're in that paper space where we can begin to insert our text. For the purpose of this video, everything is enlarged so that it is visibly seen on your end. Of course, we want to make sure that we are on our text layer. And I'm going to use a single line text. And using the single line text, I'm going to select where I want my text to start. And then also I want my height. If it's not already set in your textiles, you can type it in here. And then I should be ready to type. I'm going to type in the name of this drawing. We're gonna say kitchen view. I'm just gonna say kitchen. And then of course we can come out. And if for any reason you need to move your text into place, you can do so by using your move tool. At this time, now I have my text and I wanna give this a scale. Again, remember that this is enlarged so that it is visibly seen on your end. 
by double clicking back on that text, I can go and right click and where it says insert field is where I will begin to put in my scale of my viewport. When you open up the field box, the default for the first time user was that it will be selected to all. We want to go to the drop down and choose objects. And then under field names, we're going to select object again. In your object type, we're going to select the object and the object that we're selecting is going to be our viewport. So we're going to click our viewport border. And for the property, we want to do a custom scale. And for the format, if you want to change the format of what, the way it's shown, or we can just use scale name for this example. Select OK. And now you have that half inch scale that populates on your screen. Here on my example, I wanted to show what happens when we put that scale name in. And notice that the name of our drawing has disappeared. This will happen on occasions if you don't do one thing that I did not demonstrate. And that is to leave a space for your scale to be inputted. So what we're going to do is demonstrate the opposite way. We're going to go ahead once again and select our single line text. Choose your text height. And begin to type in your drawing name. This time, I'm going to say kitchen view, and I made it a little smaller. Zoom in. And I'm going to leave a space over. Looking out and pressing escape, now I have my drawing title. I'm going to just move the title down a little. And then we're going to double click. And we're going to select a little ways away from our title so that we have a space, an area to begin to type in our scale. Remember, at this point, we can right click and go to the insert field. We want to select object and then we're going to choose our viewport. We're going to use that custom scale. And I'm just going to use a scale name and select OK. And notice that now the half inch scale populates. And then also my drawing name is still there. If I scroll out and press escape, now we can see that we have the drawing of our kitchen space here in our viewport, the kitchen view name, and the scale at a half inch because we did scale our drawing to a half inch. If for any reason that we needed to make changes to our scale, we can always click, as we know, inside our viewport, unlock it, and let's say we want to rescale this to... One inch equals a foot. Actually, let's bring it down just a tab and do it at three quarters. We want this to be a three quarters of an inch equals one foot view. We can click outside of our viewport after we lock our viewport and switch over to that model space or that paper space. And now we need to make sure that our scale to our drawing in our text updates. Sometimes it will automatically update for you. You may have to save your work and come back into your drawing. But if you wanna see it right away, you can always go to your command bar and type in region. And when you do that, it will update that scale. 
Now that you have seen how to create a custom viewport and also add your text so that it will update automatically, as you begin to work further in your AutoCAD and you're having your multiple viewports, you can create one single text with one scale, copy it for each viewport, and select the scale to change according to each viewport that you have on your paper space.